Hello everyone, Bear here, and we have a bunch of new stuff for Fallout 76 that just came out today. If you haven't updated the game already, I believe it's like a 10 gigabyte update somewhere around there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for the reused footage in the background. I have no more footage to use, and my game is updating, and the servers are down, so I literally just can't get more footage. I apologize. That being said, Fallout 76 has a ton of new stuff coming. We have ally customization. We have a new event. We have the Foshnot Parade coming back. There are some changes to how you name items. Uh, backpacks are also going to be easier to put a skin on, and Nuclear Winter is going to be getting a, a series of challenges you can do to get some new items. Uh, I believe they are limited time items, so you might want to hop into Nuclear Winter relatively soon to collect these uh, cool rewards that they have out. Well, the first thing we've got is customizing your allies. Basically, you'll be able to put an outfit on your dudes hanging out at your camp. Um, it will be purely cosmetic, so you don't got to worry about it affecting gameplay in any way. And when you put away the ally, they will revert back to their old clothing. So that's a highly requested feature that a lot of people have been looking forward to. The next one we've got is the hunt for the treasure hunter. This is a new event where we go around and hunt down some mole miners for some cool loot. So basically, uh, there's going to be certain treasure hunter mole miners around the map. You'll be able to hear them when they're nearby, so you're going to want to have your audio turned all the way up. And these are going to be legendary mole miners. Um, when you kill them, they can have low, medium, or high tier loot. And the higher tier the loot, um, the better chance it is for you to get new plans, a new backpack plan, and the marine armor helmet plan. So I am looking forward to that. The first hunt for the Treasure Hunter event will take place from May 21st to May 25th. So just in here in a few days, it's going to start. Um, the future hunts will take place, uh, take place in different locations around the map. So it seems to be that maybe once a month they're going to be doing this event. And I'm excited to see that. It's going to be really fun to go hunt down some uh, legendary guys and see what cool plans and stuff we can get from that. So while the Treasure Hunter event is also active, you'll be able to craft your own pails. Um, you need to buy empty mole miner pails from vendors in exchange for caps. You use that along with a few other materials, and you can craft your own low, medium, or high quality rewards. These rewards you can give to other players, or you can keep them for yourself and open a bunch in hopes that you get that sweet, sweet marine armor helmet. But uh, I'm really excited for this event. It looks like it's going to be fun. Along with that, the Foshnot Parade returns to Helvetia. Um, you'll be able to collect Foshnot masks and camp plans and all that fun stuff. So it's a fun little event to do, and I'm excited to see that it is back. Maybe I can finally collect some of those masks. Um, along with that, we have a new Nuclear Winter Limited Time Challenges. So this is going to be unlocking some sweet cosmetics. I believe you'll be able to get some camp furnishing type things and a ghillie suit. So I'm very excited to see that. Um, it looks like there are eight different challenges you have to complete. Um, and each challenge you do will earn you some XP. The XP, you know, once you hit a certain amount, you unlock a certain item. So that's really fun. I'm going to be hopping back into Nuclear Winter to unlock that ghillie suit. Because that's just going to be like super cool. I, uh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Hopefully this will get a bunch of people back into Nuclear Winter. So along with the new items uh, that you can get in Nuclear Winter. You'll be able to get some new weapons too. And supply crates around the map. The bow, the cattle prod, and the goss shotgun have been added. So I'm glad that they are adding new weapons for us to mess around with in Nuclear Winter. Um, along with that, we're getting a ton of bug fixes. What I'm showing you on the screen isn't even all of them. There's just a lot of fixes, uh, like the exploit for duping has been fixed, at least for now. Um, some display case things have been fixed. The communist collectron will now find less propaganda posters, so thank God, because that dude would find so many flyers. It's ridiculous. Um, but there's just a ton of little bug fixes and little tweaks that are just going to be really nice. So I'm glad to see them adding all this stuff into the game. Um, if we could get, like, you know, the next few updates are nothing but just, like, getting rid of bugs and stuff, that would be awesome. 
I'm glad to see all these little fixes. We also got two combat bug fixes, one that has to do with stealth and then one that has to do with vats. The stealth one would prevent you from going in stealth and the enemies would instantly detect you. So it seems like Bethesda has gotten that one fixed. The other one has to do with vats. Um, whenever you'd use a charging weapon and you were aiming at one body part, it would shoot the previous aimed at body part. Um, it was a really annoying little bug. But uh, yeah, that is just some of the bug fixes they did. Very cool. A lot of them are like minor little tweaks that are really nice. I will link the rest of the uh, patch notes and stuff in the comments below if you would like to read them yourself. But I'm excited for all these little changes. It seems like Bethesda is doing really good at taking feedback. Um, and I would like to see, you know, like a monthly update or like a, you know, every two or three month update that's just fixing a ton of bugs. Because the game still has bugs. There's still a lot of dumb stuff that happens. And uh, it's good to see them finally, you know fixing stuff. But anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. If you like the channel, uh, please consider subscribing to it. Like the video if you liked it, but only if you did. And uh, I will see you all in the next Fallout video.